I started working for Whatcom County Health and Community Services in 1992. I was doing direct service to families during pregnancy and up until their children were age five. In 2017, I joined with a, mental, a local mental health clinician and a nurse practitioner and a parent who received inadequate mental health care during her pregnancies and postpartum to form a work group that became what is now our Whatcom Perinatal Mental Health Task Force. We're a community-driven collaborative working to build a community standard of care around perinatal health and well-being. And we're working to build perinatal health and well-being by building services and supports and resources and easy-to-follow pathways. First and foremost, it's really bringing awareness to the community that this issue is the number one complication of pregnancy. In a really tender time where parents are overwhelmed with the feelings that they have and often don't feel equipped and they can feel alone, like they're the only ones who are experiencing this. We're reducing the stigma and social isolation around asking for and receiving help and really understand that they are not alone and that this is a hard job being a parent and that they can feel better with all kinds of support. My hope and vision for Whatcom County and that of our task force is that all families thrive during each and every pregnancy. We know that Whatcom County is committed to young children. Nurturing parents is the most upstream way to support those young children. It can build a lifetime of resilience and well-being, and it builds healthier families who have opportunities to build healthier communities. To me, peace building means starting with empathetic listening with open curiosity. When you're listening deeply to someone, they're offering you a gift of their story. We use a model of peer support called GPS that is built on empathy and respect, creating a space for parents to openly share and process their experiences of becoming a parent. Peace building can start, really needs to start with that intentional listening to someone's story without judgment.